future engineers welcome to my youtube channel if you're still new to my channel and you like what i'm doing please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and your friends friends that's one way you can help me to promote my channel and to keep me going refreshed and inspired now if you're if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies also please don't forget to subscribe for the Parker Trust shown, construct the influence line for members HG, BG, and CG. So here is the given figure. And there are only four panels, so it's easy for us to construct the reaction at A. So it is 1, then 0 at E. And these are the ordinates. Divide with by 4, so 1 fourth, plus 1 fourth, 1 half, plus 1 fourth, 3 fourths, then plus 1 fourth, 1. Then for HD, this is a bottom chord and it is expected tension. So let's consider section 1 does 1 and forces to the left. And we have here the free body diagram. The angle that BC makes with the horizontal is arctan of 1.5, where 1.5 is 9 minus 7.5 over 6. And that is 14.014. Uh, so summation moment about uh, point B equals 0 S H G times 7.5 plus 1 times 6 minus X. If we call this X, this is 6 minus X. Then equals R A times 6. So simplifying, S H G is equal to 0.8 R A minus 1 over 7.5 of one, 6 minus X. So we will not simplify this so that the unit load, imaginary unit load is there so that if it is no longer part of the free body diagram, you simply remove it. So therefore, this is for 0 less than equal to x up to 6 meters. And beyond that, it's no longer part of the free body diagram, so we remove this. SHG is 0.8 of RA. This is for x greater than equal to 6 meters. So that when x is 0, SHC is definitely 0, 0.8 of 1 over 1.7.1 over 7.5 of 6, and that is 0. When x is 6, this is becomes 0, so 0 0.8 of RA, and R is 3 fourths. 0 0.8 of 3 fourths is, is uh, 0 0.6, and that's the maximum value. Because when x is greater than 6, here, ra is decreasing, so this decreases linearly also. What is important is when x is 6, 0 0.8 of uh, 3 fourths is 0 0.6. That's the maximum value. And therefore, this is the influence line for the stress or force of member hg. Next, for bg, this one, uh, let's have three different equations, one by putting BG there and we sum up moment about C. So S HG will be involved. The second one is SHG will be involved and we apply principle of transmissibility of a force. We move BG at G and have its components, horizontal and vertical. The vertical component passes through C. So only the original component will have moment about C. We sum up moment about C for the second uh, equation of BG. Finally, we extend BC to find the intersection between the lines of action of BC and HG so that we can have an equation for BG in particular. And BG is moved by principle of transmissibility of force at G. We have horizontal and vertical. Only the vertical component will have moment about that intersection between the lines of action of BC and HG. So let's have first the free body diagram. This is not a free body diagram. The angle here is 51.34 arctan of uh, 7.5 opposite 7.5 over 6. So 51.34 degrees. So that's point C. Then this is 9 meters. 
So there are two components of SBG, horizontal and vertical. Both of these components will have counterclockwise moments about C. So positive counterclockwise. So horizontal first, SBG cosine of 51.34, the moment arm is 1.5. 9 minus 7.5 is 1.5. Then this distance of the unit load, imaginary unit load from C is 12 minus X, if this is denoted by X. So SBG cosine of 51.34 degrees times 1.5 plus SBG sine of 51.34 times 6, because that is 6, plus 1 times 12 minus X plus SHG times 9, then equals RA times 12. Simplifying, divide everything by quantity 1.5 cosine 51.34 plus 6 sine of 51.34 and the one the unit load 1 here it will be at this. So we have SBG equals 2.1344 of RA minus 1 over 5.6222 of joule minus X minus 1.6008 of SHG. So this particular equation for SBG is applicable only for the movement of the load from A to H. Beyond that, 0 to 6. Beyond that, the unit load is no longer part of the free body diagram, so we remove its uh, contribution. The next point or panel point will be G. So therefore, that when we remove this unit load, that particular equation for SBG will be applicable for x greater or equal to 12. So for, that's for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 6. Then SBG equals 2.1344 minus 1.6008 for x greater than equal to 12 meters. So as I said, for x is 6, the unit load is at h. The next panel point will be g. So it's no longer important between H and G. What is important is the ordinate to the influence line for stress of BG when the unit load is as H and when the unit load is at G because the principle is we just connect the values, the ordinates to the influence line with the straight line. So for the second part, we move we apply principle of transmissibility of a force. We move SBG to G. Only the horizontal component will have moment about C. The vertical is not shown because its moment about C is zero. So SBG cosine 51.34 times 9 plus SHG plus 1 times 12 minus X plus SHG times 9 equals RA times 12. So notice that this, if we divide everything by 9, cosine 51.34, the result would still be this. So it's the same. So for 0 less than equal to x, less than equal to 6. So I will not write anymore the second formula for SBG when x is greater than equal to 12 because it's the same. The last formula for SBG will be we find the point of intersection of the lines of action of BC and HG it is somewhere here. We will call that point of intersection between the lines of action of BC and HG as O. Then let's call distance OA as X1. To solve for X1, we have two similar triangles. So X1 has to X1 plus 6 as to 7.5 equals X1 plus 6 plus 6 or X1 plus 12 as to 9. So x1 plus 6 as to 7.5 equals x1 plus 12 as to 9. So from there, we can solve x1 equal to 24 meters. So summation moment about O equals 0. Remember, SBG is moved to G by principle of transmissibility of a force. And the vertical, only the vertical component will have moment about O. So this is SBG sine of 51.34. Its moment arm is x1 plus 12 or 24 plus 12. Then plus 1 times 24 plus x, x1 plus x. Then equals ra times x1 or ra times 24. So simplifying, SBG is equal to 
0.85375 RA minus 1 over 28.112 of 24 plus X. So when X is 6, I want you to evaluate SBG using this formula, which is the same as this when X is 6. So 2.1344 times RA, which is 3 fourths, minus 12 minus 6, so 6 over 5.6222, and minus 1.6008 of SHG, which is 0.6. And also for this equation here, when X is 6, 0.85375 of 3 fourths minus 24 plus 6, so 30 over 28.112. And show that they are the same. This is for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 6. Then when x is greater than equal to 12, this is no longer part of the FBD. So SBG is 0.85375 of RA. 4x is greater than equal to 12. So that when x is 6, evaluate this. When x is 6, Evaluate this, sorry, this one when x is 6, they are equal to negative 0.4269. Then when the unit load is at G, when x is greater than or equal to 12, this is the formula 2.1344 times 1 half minus 1.6008 times, so of course this is 0.4 because this is 0.2 and then 0. So 2.1344 times 1 half, RA is 1 half, minus 1.6008 times 0 0.4 when, when the unit load is at G or when X is 12. Then also evaluate this when X is 12.85375 of 1 half. So 1 half of 0.85375, it is also positive 0 0.4269 as shown. And the rest you just connect from this point to eat horizontal uh, state line then zero. So that's the influence line for SBG. Next is for CG. So our FBD would be method of joints at C. So that the value of X will be any value of X because we apply method of sections. But before we can solve for CG, we need to know BC. So we draw the influence line for BC first, and that can be derived if we consider the free body diagram to the left of section 1 dash 1, and we sum up moment about G by principle of transmissibility of a force to simplify the situation. So let's have the result in the preceding slides. Let's draw the free body diagram of joint C. That's it. And this is a CG the required. We cannot find a CG unless we know SBC first. So we draw the free body diagram for SBC. By principle of transmissibility of a force, we move SBC to C and we reveal horizontal component, which is SBC cosine of 14.036 degrees. 14.036 degrees is arc tan of 1.5, 9 minus 7.5 is 1.5 over 6. And this is SBC cosine of 14.036. The vertical component passes to G, so it's not shown. So 69C, summation forces X. For this figure here, we find SCD equals SBC. Then summation forces Y, SCG plus SBC sine of 14.036, we multiply it by 2 because SBC and SCG are equal, then equate to 0. So SCG plus 2 times vertical component of SBC, downward positive, rather, sine of 14.036 times 2 equals 0. So SCG is equal to uh, negative 0 0.48506 of SBC. This is for all X. For all X. So when the unit load is at A, H, G, F, and so on, but SBC will be 0 when X is 0 at A, only at H, G, and F, where SBC will have a value. 
same is true with SCG. So in this three body diagram, summation moment about G equals zero. So SBC cosine 14.036 times nine plus RA times 12, then equals one times 12 minus X. Simplifying SBC is equal to one over 8.7313 of joule minus X minus 1.3744 of RA. So this formula or equation is applicable for the movement of the unit load from A to H. 0 less than equal to X less than equal to 6 meters. Beyond that, the unit load is no longer part. The next panel point is G. So remove this. So it is negative 1.3744 of RA for X greater than equal to 12. So when x is 6, 1 over 8.7313 times quantity 12 minus 6 minus 1.3744 times 3 fourths x, r a is 3 fourths when x is 6. So this is the influence line for SBC. When x is 6, it, it is negative 0.3436. Then when x is 12, negative 1.3744 of one half or one half of negative 1.3744 that is negative 0.6872 so that's why this is just a continuation of straight line beyond that SBC is a linear function and it decreases linearly so you just extend you just connect from this point to zero here so that's the influence line for SBC. Then, since the maximum ordinate is negative 0.6872 for SBC, SCG will also be maximum at this particular point when the unit load is at G or at the center. So substitute SCG equals negative 0.48506 of negative 0.6872. So SCG is equal to one third or 0.3333 in particular at x equals 12 so it's easy to construct the influence line for SCG it's the same as this but positive and the maximum ordinate is one third as shown in the figure so that's it for this problem I hope that you were able to follow the explanation and the solution and you can draw influence line for a different shape thrust by your own.